Oh, so much that I don't know where to begin, man. But I'll tell you one thing about that uh, 7 billion people here since you first took the low, you know, that went up there and took a look at everything, and it's doubled up since then. One of these days we're going to get smart and realize, man, that uh, we're going to go be right off the scene. And well, we're going to be gone. They're all gone. The dinosaurs were around for actually 160 million years, and all they got now is bones. In the, <laughs> in, the back, in the Museum of Natural History, you can see what they used to be. And they ruled the tripper here for 160 million years. So Mr. Earth, Mr. Planet, or Miss Nature, whatever you want to call it, does not really care about the human species. And that's the way it is, and we're going to go away. 99% of everything that ever started is extinct, okay? So we are going to go extinct, and that's a hopeful sign. Enjoy your breakfast, everybody! Yeah, well, it's a hopeful sign for the planet, for everybody who's concerned about the planet, this is wonderful. Because trust me, bro, when the human species checks out, all of the other species are going to stand and cheer. <laughs> They're going to cheer that we are gone, man. Uh, because I'm going to tell you a little bit about evolution. People dread it, but it's a happening trip. That's why we're here. When we swung down out of those trees and started varying our appetite, you know, away from coconuts and bananas, which we were living on when we were happy apes, that was the beginning of the end. We started in with the tools and the big old brain working and how to make fire and how to make gunpowder and how to wipe each other out quicker than with a big <laughs> stick getting hit in the head. And then we went steady downhill from there. So we are on the way out. And I thought this, I said to my son the other day, we were talking on the phone, and I said, you know, man, I said, evolution should have started and stopped at ape time. When we were the apes and we were first getting out of those trees, they should have said, whoa, that's <laughs> enough of this evolution crapperino. Would have missed out on a lot of good stuff, Patrick. Ah, you know, uh, yeah. No but, no music. That's all right. Oh, they could beat on a doom, doom, boom, boom, a digi, boom, but that now. You can always beat a log you with a have, stick. You wouldn't have heard that stuff that you love so much. Ah, uh, yeah. The the ganja grows free. Ganja <laughs> grows on its own. You don't have to cultivate it. There's chow around. Come on, but baby. But no do up. Yeah, no, you know, no, the doo -wop was never my scene. I'm a rhythm and blues freak. No rhythm and blues. Ah, oh, rhythm and blues is right there because you're beating on that drum. Ah, ah. Come on, Patrick. I, I, I got you on this yeah. one. You would have to give up your rhythm and blues. I, could, do, I could give up anything. Age. I could give up anything to keep it under 7 billion of you us running around. You wouldn't have been able around. to sell cars all those years. Do, oh, yeah. All those great that was a joy. Big Al. <laughs> and all those great Big Al stories. And you know what? Even though they are funny by nature, really, if you stop the the apes, there'd be no humor. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? yeah, that's you know, true. You lose a lot, you know. Just think about what you'd be giving up here. Oh, I know. I wouldn't be able to be a cynic. <laughs> to be cynical about because so, the apes would be floating you know down this the is, river. This is the first time I have ever successfully, to a point, challenge Patrick on anything. Oh, yeah, well, that's cool well, because hard, I'm because pliable. He's, he's right about most things. Yeah, I'm flexible, though. I'm flexible. But Joe, you want to take the pro-human side here. You're, you're yeah. for human, humans. Well, only to a degree. I, mean, <laughs> I, I agree with him largely. <laughs> I, agree, I agree with him largely. We were just talking about this. Uh, but, you know, you've got to... We, there was no ape that looked like Alfred E. Newman. There were a few uh. things, were a few things that, that, we have, that we got right. We, we yeah. Got, all right, we got all right. Saran wrap. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. got rhythm and blues. Yeah. Uh, we got Otis Redding. Yeah. Oh course, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. yeah. We got Rachel Carson. Uh, what else did we get? We okay. got George Carlin. You know, we got a few things out of it. We got a few things out of it. George isn't so sure that uh, that was good. <laughs> uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, had we stopped at the uh, at the apes, you know, there are pluses and minuses. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It makes you wonder. Well, we'll keep tallying up the score sheet. See I like we, it. See if we can come up with more pluses yeah. for next week. <laughs> if we're here. Yeah. All right, so if the species is still alive, we'll be here next week. But meanwhile, since the planet will probably survive the next few hours, spend them with Ron Van Warmer. All right. Joe That's right. Here he is. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to there Professor you Louie. Guy. Thanks, Guy Wonderful. Davis. Yeah, Thanks, I like Patrick that. Thanks, Carlin. Thanks, Joe I like that. Thank you, Owen Swenson. Yeah, yeah right. For the dream. Oh, Enjoy your week, oh, everybody. Wow.